Camping World Bowl, Oklahoma State makes Virginia Tech pay for mistakes, wins 30-21. Orlando, FLA for much of Thursday's Camping World Bowl, Virginia Tech controlled the clock and protected the ball. For part of the night, the Hokies kept Violet Nikoff award-winning receiver James Washington in check. For a while, they didn't give up big plays. That doesn't quite cut it against a team as explosive as the Cowboys. Number 17 Oklahoma State took advantage of several Virginia Tech miscues in the red zone and eventually hit on several big pass plays in a 30-21 win over the number 22 Hokies at Camping World Stadium on Thursday. Quarterback Mason Rudolph ended his record-setting college career earning game MVP honors by throwing for 351 yards and two touchdowns to lift the Cowboys, 10-3, to their third straight 10-win season and their sixth under coach Mike Gundy. Though he was held in check for the first half, Washington finished with five catches for 126 yards, making it big with a 65-yard touchdown over the top of technicians' defense in the third quarter. Oklahoma State finished with 488 yards of offense. We had a plan. We executed it well at times, Hokies coach Justin Fuente said. I don't really remember Oklahoma State making many mistakes and we made a handful. The Hokies, 9-4, fell just shy of winning 10 games in each of Fuente's first two seasons in Blacksburg. Virginia Tech did plenty right on the night just not enough to pull the upset. The Hokies actually outgained the Cowboys, finishing with 518 yards, their most since September, and kept OSU's big play offense in check for nearly an entire half. They ran the ball as well as they have all year, piling up 248 yards on the ground and getting a career-high 124 from Deshaun McLeese as they held the ball for more 38 minutes the exact recipe to beat an up-tempo team like Oklahoma State. That showed up early. Tech led 7-3 thanks to a 13-yard touchdown run by quarterback Josh Jackson. But a botched exchange between Jackson and running back Stephen Peoples at the one-yard line prevented the Hokies from going up by two scores early in the second quarter. Just a mesh that those two guys have made 10,000 times, Fuente said. Just wrote it a little bit long. Just something you feel really comfortable with doing. You've done it since day one and didn't execute. Oklahoma State only got a field goal off that drive to pull within 7-6, but the Cowboys' explosiveness showed up right before halftime when Rudolph hit Marcel at man for a 50-yard pass to the one-yard line, setting up a touchdown run by Justice Hill that gave OSU a 13-7 lead at the break. A 17-yard touchdown pass from Rudolph to Dylan Stoner made it 20-7 early in the third, before the Hokies came back with a 9-yard touchdown grab by Eric Kuma. It didn't take the Cowboys long to get some breathing room again. On the ensuing drive, Rudolph went deep to Washington, who had a step on rover Reggie Floyd. The throw hit him in stride and Washington raced for the long touchdown that made it 27-14 the fifth time this year Rudolph and Washington have connected on a score of 65 yards or longer. That was one I'd like to have back, Hokies defensive coordinator Bud Foster said. We were scrambling a little bit. They went up tempo and just caught it. That guy's going to get his catches. We gave up two big plays when it was all said and done on defense that were costly. The Hokies had chances to stick close but repeatedly shot themselves in the foot. A fake punt got Tech into the red zone, but Jackson, who was 22 for 41 for 248 yards, misfired on a slant pass to an open Kuma in the end zone on 3rd and 8 from the 11. A bad snap on 4th down gave Jackson no shot. Once he corralled it, he was swallowed up by the Oklahoma State defense for a 16-yard loss and a turnover on downs. The Hokies' next drive got down to the Oklahoma State 29 when an errant Jackson pass bounced off Phil Patterson's hands to cornerback Darius Curry for an interception. 
I don't feel very good about this game, Jackson said. I think I missed too many throws. I didn't think I played very well. Didn't really feel in a groove today, I guess. Virginia Tech managed to get into the end zone on the next drive. Cuma fought through pass interference along the sideline to reel in a 31-yard gain to the 5. Jackson powered straight ahead two plays later for a touchdown that got the Hokies within 27-21 with 5.40 remaining. The Hokies' defense had a prime opportunity to get off the field with just over three minutes left, with Oklahoma State backed up in a third and 11 from the Tech 49. But Hill, who finished with 120 yards, took a handoff and broke free for a crushing 31-yard gain up the left sideline. That set up a 38-yard field goal by Matt Amendola with 2.34 left that put the game out of reach at 30-21, snapping the Hokies' three-game bowl winning streak. This one hurts, man, Virginia Tech defensive tackle Ricky Walker said. We wanted to send the seniors out right. As you can see, we didn't quit. We didn't give up. That's all what coach preaches to us since he's been here. But this one, it just hit a different spot.